What's up guys, Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. We are here again for part two, or you could say my second investigation here at Overton County Courthouse. This is an old hospital. Earlier today I came in here and investigated and I got to go into the surgery room. I got to go in every room. There's an energy here about this place. And tonight, again, we get to go inside. I felt pressure all over my body. Is this yours? My name is Jody Dean. That's why I jumped. I heard a loud hit behind me. Real human bones. And when it comes to the paranormal, I don't play no fucking games. Is there anything here? Oh my god! It's in my god! I'm known as Mr. Hunting the Dead on my channel, Hunting the Dead on YouTube. Feel you in here, man. Come on. Give me <laughs> I've been on the news for hunting some of the most haunted places in the state of Florida. In less than two years, I have over 4.9 million views and 64,000 subscribers. He's a one-man band. Very knowledgeable. I love Jody Dean. He's one of the best out there. What? No, thank you. I'm gonna have to go back and look, but I think those cabinets, I think those were open. I just fucking heard something right here. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Dude, oh my god, dude! All I want to do is hunt the paranormal and bring the best evidence to the light. Alright, so Becky, you're here with me again on another investigation. How are you feeling right now? A little nervous. A little nervous. Are you yeah. scared? Mm, not yet. Just nervous? Yeah. Okay. Uh, shaking in my, in my jeans here. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm pretty excited because today when I was in here, so much stuff kept happening. And I feel like right when we were getting into the gold, they said that we had to wrap. Hello. How are you? Larry, you're Yo. here. Charlotte, what's going on? Not much. Are we going to uh, get to go inside here and get locked in tonight? Oh, he locked me in there. <laughs> <laughs> don't you shut that door behind <laughs> She don't even like going there with the lights off. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're... I could lock you in, though. No, you won't. Okay, now we are the only people in here, right? Yeah. My knowledge, yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting heebie-jeebies. I don't know. Doctor, patients, spirits, we're here to communicate with you tonight. We want to speak to the dead. If we have any vets here, feel free to tag along with us. Why don't we go back down to where we had the crazy experiences today up. in the surgery room? And was it up? Wait a minute. Sur we got a sur the old surgery room was right back over here. All right. Yeah. I'm surgery going the wrong tent. way. Let's do that. Well, we'll be going to get to the other surgery room. We'll have to go up and across the building. Okay. We've got the, the surgery room, the lab, the archives. Let's do that. Charlotte, it's going to be okay. I don't have my laptop hooked up now. I don't have to jump on the cord. <laughs> so they still use this office, obviously, for... This archives. is the archives. Okay. This is my office section. Okay. You come down here looking for your relatives or old deeds, some old deeds. Oh, you can go in Okay, seriously, that scared me. Okay. <laughs> Would you like for me to close the door? Um... If you guys, you guys want to witness this, right? No, it's your call. We're then yes, come on in and close the door. I'm not going to jack with one of those things. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. 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 Today we were here. I was here with them. And we were asking for the dead to communicate with us. I asked you if anybody died here. And this device went off. Can you make mine or hers go off?
All you have to do is touch this device right here. You'll make it light up. Or hers. Do you feel like the doctor could have did more to save you? Do you feel like the doctor let you die? Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Just keep recording because we might very well capture a voice in here. Or hopefully we'll capture them on camera. And that would be something that nobody in this building has caught, caught yet, right? Uh, no, he's the only really professional paranormal scientist that's been in the room, been in, really studied this building. I'm going to take a series of pictures, and at any moment, if you would like to show yourself, all you have to do is try. And we'll go ahead and run the spirit box while I'm taking these pictures. Guys, just listen for a voice to come through there. Can you touch this device? Can you speak to us through that one? You say yes, sir. You know what I think, Larry? I think today when we were in here, I think we brought something from the surgery room down wherever it was in this building back up here. I think it followed us. Well, this was a surgery room and a more combination. Right. My mother had surgery in this room. Hey, yeah. who is that? Tell us your first name. I keep looking and there's nobody behind me. I'm not kidding you. I just felt that too. Yeah. Alright, right now we're heading down to the, the dungeon, as they call it. <laughs> Hospital bed. bed. Alright, so we have a, a relic from the times of this place here. An old hospital bed. Alright, this is good. <laughs> What's that? Beer. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. No, the, it's water. Uh, box. Oh, okay, right now we are in the room that's housing an old hospital bed. If somebody died on this bed, could their spirit still be attached to it? Let's find out. Did you die on this bed? I don't know what it said, but I heard it. It sounded like a response. How did you die? Were you sick? Didn't you say hospital? How many spirits are in here with us right now? Give us a number. Looks like somebody just moved out there. Are you trying to get my attention? Okay, Charlotte, take off down the... You go right ahead. This is crazy right now. 
the energy in this place is just heavy. Transferable energy is something I speak about in the book that I'm writing. You'll notice in a lot of my investigations, my voice changes, my eyes change. You can see my energy change. That spiritual manipulation of our energy. It's not necessarily intentional, but spirits are energy. And through their energy, they do manipulate the fields around them. It's very heavy. Is there anybody in here? Is it going off? Can you back away from that? Back away. Why? Whoa, dude, <laughs> someone just grabbed that door right behind me. Why? Whoa, I did not touch that door. Something just grabbed it. It just, hold this. It just sounded like. Yeah. One of my friends. Dude, whatever it is, like, it feels like something like died right here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Maybe something died right here, then it stopped. Yeah, absolutely. What nobody knows right now is how terribly affected I am being by the spiritual energy. This happens so much. I usually don't say anything, but it's become second nature to me, and it is apparent watching myself during editing this video how more aggressive, how more intense my senses become on edge. I'm going to take a picture of this direction, and we'll see if anything's standing there. Okay, who just did that to the door? You just touched. Did, did you do that? If anything's standing there. Okay. The door just shut on its own. Right here, I captured a spirit voice saying, Hey, I've amplified it using Pro Tools software. It almost makes me feel like if a patient would have been laying here, sitting here at one point in time, and you're walking up to them and they say, Hey, like they're trying to ask you for something. Make a noise at any time if you can. Show us where you are. It's probably a maintenance room. Okay, right here in this room. Yeah, We're back it's again. Okay. We're getting ready to go in the surgery room right now. Oh. If you're here, give us a sign. Dude. <laughs> Did you just hear that? There was this, something just moved over here. I got an idea, guys. Why don't we all take a seat here at this table? I'm sitting by the door. Larry. I'll turn it up a little bit for you. I'm, to, I'm, I'm sitting by the door. <laughs> hey, that's my seat. Yeah. Can I shut this purple thing off yet? Oh, you can't. Yeah. I doubt we're going to find any semen on this table. At least, let's hope not. <laughs> no, that's, this is all brand new. <laughs> We are in the surgery room that we were in today, and the meter went crazy. As you can see right now, this meter is not going off whatsoever. Uh, it can be the time of day that a spirit uh, decides to manifest themselves. So they are intelligent. They can be where they want to be and travel throughout this building. I'm pretty sure we've got their attention, but right now we are going to see if we can communicate with some of the people that may have died in here. Who passed away in here? 
if you're here, will you try and make this light up for us like you did today? Is there something we can do for you? That was relevant right there, but I don't know what that was. What's the man's name that's standing in here right now to the far left? In that corner right there, there's somebody standing there right now. Who is it? Come on. Did you feel anything different over there? Did it get cold by you by chance? Yeah. Didn't notice anything like that? Yeah. It's going up. The community is going up. The community is going up. It's going up right now. Who's doing that? Tell us your name. Who are you? Are you a vet? Were you in the war? Are you in pain? Are you with Jesus? No! Did you say no? You got the chills? <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. It's like every day. Okay, we're all in here right now. There's a conference table. We all sat here. She started getting some hits on the ghost meter when she was holding it. And now Larry's sweeping over here. I took a series of pictures. I feel like there is a male that entered the room and he told us his name at one point here. Say, say it again. I said, I feel like somebody's grabbing my neck, like touching my neck. Oh. Something just grabbed me on my neck. Huh? Something grabbed me on my neck. You still feel it? Something just touched me right here. wonder if that's... No, that can't be the original sink. Don't take that light out of here. <laughs> you heard that? Yeah. Here, what? Don't play with it. Is there somebody down here? Oh. Did you just do that? Did you just turn that light on? Nope. Did you guys do that? <laughs> You're kidding me. You didn't just turn this light on? No. No, well, I'm not really far at all. Okay. Well, I don't know if maybe somebody else could have turned it on for somewhere else. We are not responsible for accidents. I'm sure that's what the doctor said. That's what my father said. This one didn't get me. Wait a minute, this is going off now. Both of them? Oh yeah, yes. Can you back away from those meters so we know that you're able to listen to us? I can go in, it goes off. I pull back, it goes away. Got a third light. Oh, well, you're the signal is. You okay? Down to one. They're getting some crazy hits over there. Seems like there's definitely something in that room. Okay, this room in here was a shower and it just looks like death in here. Like Did somebody die in this room? Yeah. The third, yeah. 
Did something happen here? <laughs> we're shot! It just said we're shot! Dude, it just said we're shot! Hey, I said did something happen here? It said we're shot. Any experience that sticks out in your head so far? Downstairs. Yeah, with wicked. those meters? Yeah, that's wicked. That's wicked. Anything stick out in your mind about tonight's investigation here? Um, just the feeling that somebody was like standing behind me. Like when we were starting to walk down the hallway, I felt like somebody was like, I kept turning around, I felt like somebody was back there walking behind us mm -hmm. with us. And then um, I felt like somebody was like touching the back of my neck when we were in that room. Sitting on a table. Larry, anything happened tonight that really is like in the front of the mind? Anything stick out? Uh, there seemed to be a concentrated area and then they moved to another room with what the meters were picking up. You know, there's one, one area that the meters was going off pretty rapid and then all of a sudden it's like it dissipated, went away. And then you go into the an adjacent room and you still picked up some signals. It's funny because as you were talking it just sounded like there was walking down there in that hallway. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Let me know what you liked about the video and if you're ever in this area stop by and give them a big hello say hello to larry say hello to charlotte this is jody dean mr hunting the dead i'm out of here